Technology interventions should enhance teacher engagement with students, sort of through improved access to content, data and networks, helping teachers better support learning. And the effective use of technology here at BYS is one of the key principles to making a more effective group of teachers. My name is Jobel Salvador. I was the head of the kindergarten department for 14 years. This year, I am appointed as the international principal of Beacon House Yamsard School, Wahin. Hello, I'm Ben Fowler. I'm a secondary level teacher here at BYS Beacon House, Wahin, teaching ESL, including IGCSE English, Grammar, and IELTS. Yamsard schools were founded by Kun Tamrong and Kun Prapai Yamsard. There are three bilingual schools and an international school. The first campus was established in 1984 in Ledbrow. In 2002, Yamsard Rangsit was established, followed by Wahin Campus in 2007. With regards to the question of what's different at BYS and what really sets it apart, well, our students have the opportunity to go to Thai universities or international universities, as we have ESL, EFL, IELTS, IGCSE curriculums here at BYS. Technology interventions should enhance teacher engagement with students, sort of through improved access to content, data and networks, helping teachers better support learning. And the effective use of technology here at BYS is one of the key principles to making a more effective group of teachers. What sets us apart from other schools? BYS Wahin is a Thai bilingual school and is accredited by Thai Ministry of Education. Being a Thai bilingual school, our students acquire competencies in both Thai and English languages. We have a hybrid curriculum that is a combination of Thai standard and international standard and modern teaching pedagogies. That being said, let's say for example in kindergarten, other than Thai subject, phonics, math, science, we also have a subject that's called play-based learning where students learn, explore, develop their skills in a relevant context and in an engaging and fun way. How have we coped in the last 18 months? Last year in April, that was the time that we have considered different platforms to deliver remote learning for everyone's safety. With the schools being closed until at least August, we have to look at our current immediate plans. So we've prepared lessons which are great for synchronous and asynchronous learning. And we can share them with the students ahead of class so that they're better prepared for the new concepts and the ideas when we introduce them for the first time in class. But we were also planning to conduct, conduct a few polls and open-ended responses because these are a really fun way of going around the room to check how comfortable the students are with the new concepts before we actually start the new one. And this is essential during distance learning, isn't it? Because when students aren't physically there in front of you. The assessment is also on part of the immediate plans because we can create a dynamic leaderboard which we can share with the students live, which takes the energy in the class to a whole new level, to like a nail-biting dramatic finish. It can be self-paced, so each student gets a chance to answer without feeling rushed, and students can answer questions on their own devices. They can have questions read aloud to them, they can opt for a preferred language where appropriate, so they feel really empowered to answer the questions to the best of their ability. Once the games are over, we get drill down reports to identify the students that are struggling, they need additional guidance, we can then reach out to them separately with additional quiz questions uh, for independent practice so they can learn at their own pace. I mean, as always, students can still answer using their own devices, but their scores contribute to the overall class score, making it a real combined effort. And as a teacher, I will use the results and the insights from games to identify topics and questions for the class to help identify all of their areas of improvement. The question about how do I see the school reopening, in what way, when that time comes, it's so volatile, it's hard to answer. What I would say though to reopen is that BYX will need to implement its vision, which is to apply all of those teaching initiatives 
that have proved to be effective during the remote learning phase and then integrate them into the regular education system. It's critical to empower teachers, give them the necessary skills and the development they need and the capacity building so that they can exploit the full potential of remote and blended learning.